who is a current staff member. Just doing my notes. <laughs> doesn't have any. When it comes to really good ideas, I think, I hope. This is off the cuff. And I'm not way too young to be speaking at this, so I'm going to keep telling myself. Um, what I wanted to do was um, really see some familiar faces I haven't seen for a long time. Uh, and my experience of Golden Grove High School. Um, you're talking about footy a fair bit. And back in 1989 is when North Adelaide lost the grand final, 108 14 to Port. So that may have been the best time for the school, but for me in North LA, that was probably the worst time. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, we, uh, I don't know if it was the school, but we did win in 91, but it's been 27 years since we've won again. Um, I thought I was going to blame the school, but I can't really blame the school for that. Um, I am back again uh, in 2003, in 1996, I was a student teacher at this school. Uh, very nervous, wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, I did it my uni, locked up, and so many faces here helped me gain the confidence to be able to be a teacher. Um, I was not a good public speaker. I am still not good at public speaking. Uh, last week I saw um, Fitzy and said, oh, you know, we're looking at doing some speeches. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll do one, you know, thinking, yeah, I, guess I must have been in a really good mood or something. <laughs> and today I was reminded that I'm the, I was actually on the list. So that was about an hour ago. Um, so a little bit nervous, but I, my, my life has been gone Grove High School. Um, through my uni years, I was here for seven years, I wasn't too sure if I wanted to continue teaching, I was influenced by other work, uh, DJ work, hospitality, uh, Stan Heaps uh, was up in the uh, staff room, which we still use today, recess and lunch, teaching me chemistry, which I didn't know much about, um, I had about two hours sleep because I was up uh, working hospitality at night and uh, teaching during the day. Um, a lot of people showing a lot of patience, a lot of care, which has not stopped in this school for a long time. I ended up going full-time in hospitality, but due to life's turns and family situations, I thought I might go back to teaching. So after do four years of uni again, I had no idea. Didn't know what it was going to be like. Uh, I did one year at the Heights Primary School where my son was, and, um, and from that I wasn't too sure what I was going to do, so I started putting my relief papers around, because back in 96 or 7 years I was a relief and contract teacher. I haven't actually done a full, oh, I have one year of contract. I haven't actually been a permanent for the th about 13 years I've been here. So I put my papers in and I saw Sue Rishiak and I saw Urist and it, like the place hadn't even changed. It hadn't moved on. This was almost 15 years. In 2003, I couldn't believe it. And offers came. Um, I really didn't think that was going to happen. Um, so I was I'm just so thankful to Golden Grove to accept me back. Um, to be there by my side um, during really hard times. And um, I have created friendships from students from the past. Did the lunchtime radio, uh, Leighton Skinner, some of you might know of Leighton Skinner. He uh, ended up being a DJ with me uh, around the traps, um, ended up being in my wedding, we ended up being my best friend. Um, and now he is look, he's looking to come back and wants to be involved in the lunchtime radio, which we, again, we have started two years ago. I have students who are with me in the FLOW program, Flexible Learning Options program at the moment. These kids are amazing, and that's who I'm working with now. Back then it was PE. Now I'm working with a program that didn't exist back in 1989. As you, as you know, there was a learning centre, but there's certainly not FLOW. Um, they're out there right now, the Quadrangle, looking after the music for me, looking after my equipment um, for, for everyone later. Um, so this is, this is probably given me a new lease of life in working with these students and opportunities. There's no way that I can compare about the input and the influence of students and people I've had in this school, but it's a massive thank for me that I owe to this school for what it's provided me in supporting me all through my life, my life changes, things that have happened, and the school being supportive and the teachers and the people who are involved in this community has allowed me to continue to be the person I am and to continue growing. That's all I wanted to say, so thank you. Um, thanks Adrian. Now I'd like to invite Adam Fitzgerald, who is the current teacher librarian in Teeling. Hello. Um, it's quite strange at Fro what time is it? Nearly four o'clock on a Friday afternoon, and normally if I'm here, I'm the only one. So <laughs> everyone's in here. Okay, so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit, a bit about Teeley Library. Um, Teeley Library has, even before I started at Golden Grove High School, a little bit of a reputation, a bit of a side story. Rex, who spoke earlier, 
he taught me at Adelaide Uni um, for the English methodology when I was becoming a teacher. At one stage, he brought our troop group, 2001, to Teeley Library. Little, little did I know that 12 years later, I'd come back and work here and spend every day in here. So um, it's come full circle. Um, amongst uh, school libraries, Teeley Library has been known, mainly because it's been shared by the three schools, but it has a good reputation. And when I started working here, I knew I had a bit of a reputation to try and keep that, um, that reputation going. Okay, so a bit of a responsibility. Um, across the campus and across the school, um, Teeley Library, you may get, is often called Teeley. So you'll get kids say, can I go to Teeley? Um, can I meet you in Teeley? Even teachers say that. Um, they might say, what the hell is happening in Teeley if we have a particular bad day? Um, okay, so... Um, yeah, so even through the years, um, yeah, people talk about Teeley, and I, I guess, as, as you might have noticed, we've just recently renovated, um, and now Teeley Library is controlled by Golden Grove High School. We're still open to other students from Darren Gleeson coming to join us, but yeah, it is, it is uh, a Golden Grove uh, Library. So welcome again. Um, it's great to see so many different uh, past students. Um, I was speaking to, I think, Gwenda's gone home. Gwenda was the previous teacher librarian before I was here, so there's a bit of a line of us here. Um, as, I, as I was introduced, I'm Adam Fitzgerald. I'm, I'm currently one of the two teacher librarians uh, with Visma Scott, and this is my sixth year at Golden Grove High School and six years in Teeley Library. Um, I also work with other library staff, and now we can thank Janet Thomas. She's one of the uh, library assistants, yes or so. Um, um, Teeley Library over the years, and if you look through the old pictures, it always had lots of different functions. So they have, and, and Janet really loves the functions, so the tables and the decorations and the things like that. It's, it's been really handy. Um, um, probably not old enough to be my wife at work, but maybe my mum at work. <laughs> um, so I, we're okay with that. So, yeah, so um, it's great. So and and Jenna is one of the founda foundation um, staff members of the school, along with Stan Hoops, who are standing next to each other over there. Um, so yeah, so from the very first day they've been here, I know Karen Walter, and as I understand, is here too, and Karen is been here, but then gone away and then come back. So, as a, yeah, so it's great to have those. So there are a few people here, and I think the messenger are going to interview them next week. So we look forward to seeing that when you see that. Okay. Um, the 10th of May, 1989, and you might have seen, and it's uh, been running on loop, um, at the end of uh, last year when we started to renovate, we had a compactus out the back, and, and, and one day... Janet was going through me and she, she showed me this box of VHS tapes. And so we were lucky enough and we said, oh, this is interesting. We've got basically a whole history. And it was literally hidden right in the back of this compactus. So um, it took a time to get, they were basically preserved through the years. And so we've slowly been working through the videos and converting them from VHS do you know what VHS is? <laughs> <laughs> VHS, we're basically moving in through the 30 years and, and getting them to YouTube. So we do have a YouTube channel if you haven't had a look at it. There have got a few different videos. There are videos of me telling people how to do boring things like referencing and that kind of stuff. But yes, yeah, so we have some of these old videos here. Um, so, um, so 10 years, 30 years ago, Colin Teeley opened Teeley Library, and as physically has happened to the school and symbolically in some ways, it sort of all began here. Um, David talked about his office being there. We've recently painted, so at one stage I used to see where the wall used to be, and I used to say the principal's office used to be there, there's a tap that's over there. Uh, and so this was, um, 30 years ago, this was the, the heart of the school and the heart of the campus in many ways. So. Um, so it has symbolically, and, and um, to quote Colin Teeley um, from his speech, and you can get onto YouTube and listen to it at some point, okay, the essential fact is that whatever the terminology, a library deals with language, ideas, and enriches our lives, and that's why a library like this is the heart of the school, and it always will be. Okay, so, and that, that was reiterated through some of the other speeches. Okay, Colin Teeley's speech, he was obviously really good with words, okay, that was his forte, um, 
And so, yeah, and he, he talked about um, not just the library, but the school in itself, dealing with ideas. And he said, words convey ideas, whether it be on floppy disk, you know what a floppy disk is, <laughs> um, or whatever. And I guess we've continued that, and then we've tried to keep that legacy, obviously adding a few bits and pieces of technology along the way, but keeping it. And I was talking to Rex earlier, and I said, look, it's really great that our kids, even when I started and I was in the other library and I, up, um, up the other end, the amount of reading that the kids do, and I don't know where that comes from. It's, it's, it was, and I'd come from other libraries, and it wasn't that easy. As a teacher librarian, my job was to get kids reading. And, and the kids were just pulling the books off the shelf and they were asking about things and asking about authors and it's been a really good legacy. So hopefully that legacy of words and reading and sharing ideas, we can continue that into the future regardless of what technology that we have. Okay. Over the years, um, Tealy Library has been a bit of a rite of passage. Um, Year 10s can't use Tealy Library, or we did in the end of Year 10, but come Year 11, they have the freeze, and as the, the Year 11s would know, I call them study lessons. We don't do freeze in here. Uh, um, so that's been a bit of a rite of passage. So you get to Year 11, and you get to come into the Tealy Library, and for up until about a couple of years ago, that was for all three schools. So the Senior School Library was in here, so um, people got to use Tealy, okay? Um, and Tealy... For a lot of students, and I can name many students have gone on done great, have gone on to do great things. Have I? I can basically name a desk that they sat at for most of the time. They spent their time, all of their time in Tealy. So, um, over the years, um, as David talked about earlier, um, we the whole point of the shared campus, which has been great uh, right from the beginning, was that he used to work cross pollination. Um, so yes, that still does happen. Okay, and and so we so each year there's one of the traditions we have, and I, there might be people in this room that have experienced it. We, every end of year, end of book week, which is in August, um, we have the grand final. So all the students uh, of book week, uh, all the students from each of the school, they compete and they read some set texts and they come in here and they compete. And that's 25 years long. One of those things about continually meeting things, and we're up against one of those other shared sorts of problems. Last year, Bader said they wouldn't do book cup anymore. But they have the cup from last year, so we're in the process <laughs> of working through that. And we'll sort it out. We'll have book cup this year. It may look. So, yeah, so it, it's that sort of stuff, and it's, it's one of those shared things. We always work it out. Um, we always manage to get people back on board and use those, that, that string. Um, hopefully by now, if you've been here since two, thank you for those people coming early. It was a bit of a long wait, but um, it was good for people to mingle. Um, you've had a chance to have a look around. So at the end of last year, we renovated, um, and the Golden Grove Library, what was the Golden Grove Library, it has become the Wellbeing Hub, which has only just been finished, so you'll see that later on if you want to go for a wander down there. Um, so we renovated in here. So what that involved was basically physically moving, merging two library collections because the, the Golden Grove Library was an 8 to 10 library um, and the 11 to 12, obviously, senior collection. So we had to merge. <coughs> Luckily, and books are still in, they're still re relevant, we ended up with about 60% of what we had. So it's good. And you can see, and I guess part of it is also bringing back some of the shared spaces. So if you've had a look around, I mean... We have acoustic tiles, which enables us to have more people in here. Um, glass, so we can see them in. We can put the noisy kids in there, and we can see them, and they can be okay, and then we don't have to bother, we can still see them. Um, okay, but yeah, so it's that sort of, those differentiated spaces, places to meet, places for people, pla places where people can share ideas and learn together and, and that kind of stuff. So hopefully we've sort of kept that, and we can just also adapt to any changing technology that happens. Um, in here we had... Oh, this is a great... I just said that. Okay. Um, yeah, so thank you for coming along. It's been great to see and catch up with some people that I know have sort of set the scene over the 30 years. And, and hopefully as a staff, Adrian spoke before, um, and, and as, a, as a school community of students, we will continue that sort of legacy over the next few years. So thank you again. And I'll see you around later on. Thank you. Um, now I'd like to invite Peter Kuss, the current principal of Golden Grove High School. So 